What the hell is this? Am I... in my own head? This must be the haze that's been hanging over me. How dare you obstruct our destiny? Hey, Yuei. Yin. The time. I can feel your pain. How bad it felt to give your all for Longport just to get stabbed in the back. But that doesn't mean I'm about to let you destroy the place I call home. So let's settle this, one on one. You will be the next tyrant. Accept your destiny and rule this land! <sighs> Deploying shards! The reckoning is upon you! You'll be sorry for that! Send you flying! It's go time! You'll be sorry for that! Here goes! You'll be sorry for that! Send you flying! Here goes! Go time! Nice work, kid. Teach that thing who's running the show. Oh, thank goodness. I could sense two souls within him. You must have defeated the demon. <coughs> Aaron! Are you all right? Yeah. I think so. What happened to the tyrant? Got his ass beat. Now he can go back to being a brat. But, a brat that managed to save this town. <laughs> I did, huh? <sighs> it's finally over. Without the tyrant's help, Almada doesn't stand a chance of beating Heiyue. And they should be pulling out of the city soon. You all fought admirably. Oh, yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? Oh, he must have brought reinforcements. Hmm. <laughs> Indeed, we only just arrived. I had to be sure we had a sufficient force in the event that you might fail. However, I see my fears were unfounded. Rest assured, you will be suitably compensated for what you have done this day. Now then. A boat is waiting down below to return you to the city. Allow us to handle the remaining business here. As for you, Aaron, come with me. Your wounds are deep and we have much to discuss. <laughs> and 
For a second there, I was happy to see you too. Fine, fine. Let's get this over with. <laughs> All's well that ends well, I suppose. Yeah, I'm glad they get to talk like this. Hold up. Is <laughs> something the matter, Spriggan? If it concerns your compensation, my son will handle that matter in my stead. Good to know, but actually it's something else. Say, you were in cahoots with Almada, weren't you? What? Huh? Wait, then... <sighs> I have no doubt that you truly are enemies deep down. Had a battle broken out, I'm sure you would have gone all out on him. That said, I think you guys ended up finding something you agree on. Something that only you and the other elders would know about. You mean... No way. You've got to be shitting me. I'm reminded of a certain phrase you used. Let external woes reveal internal wounds. Obvious one is the external woe being Almada. But that makes the internal wound the tyrant here. <laughs> I've got plenty of circumstantial evidence for my theory. First, there's the story of how a certain device got into the hands of a street merchant, and eventually, Almada. Shortly after someone gave it to the merchant, it happened to be stolen by a bunch of thugs. Timing's awfully convenient, ain't it? And don't forget, only Heiyue knew that device was sealed away here. Why not just hand it over directly? Plausible deniability. They can pass the whole affair off as a mistake if they get caught. <sighs> Second, there's those Almada guys knowing way too much about the tyrant and what went down here. Only the old folks around here even know it happened, but if you ask them about it, they clam up real quick. So how did a bunch of young outsiders hear about a local taboo? Musta had a source. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Third, there's the old man's attitude toward Aaron here. Sounds like you all used to get along real well. His mom included. Don't know what it is about the kid, but people really take a shine to him. Especially old folks like you. So why'd you suddenly turn cold on him? There's gotta be a reason. He's full of it, right? All three of his assertions are correct. Despite Tao's recommendation, I did not expect you to be quite this perceptive, Spriggan. Why would you do that? You were so kind to us! Mom loved you like family. What changed? When did you start seeing me so differently? The signs began to appear in recent years. The last tyrant was a charismatic young man, just like you. With each passing year, you came to resemble him more and more. I had no choice but to discover the truth, no matter the cost. Hold on. Did you know my friends in the town were going to be in danger this whole time? Answer me! We did not intend for a tragedy to take place, but we understood the risks well. I deeply regret that innocent people lost their lives. They... They died for this. Such was the will of Hei Yue. If you dislike the system that reached this conclusion, then use your right to change it. What? Chaos and trials unknown lie ahead. That much is certain. But if you are there to guide us, Heiyue will undoubtedly overcome them all. We need you to be the great unfeeling tyrant. So you're just looking for someone to take the burden of leadership away. That someone's not even the man himself. Correct. That is what is best for Hei Yue. The Shang Shou! Have they been here this whole time? Take him away. Enough! Huh? Who's that? In. 
If you're here, that means... Please stop this, father. I see you've disobeyed my orders and returned early, Cao. This is purely by coincidence, I assure you. Negotiations went so smoothly, I was afforded the chance to come lend you my aid. Yeah, yeah! Please stop! Hasn't Aaron suffered enough? Ah, oh, Shen. Elaine! You're alright! <laughs> yes, and I'm glad to see you all in one piece. Melchior got away, but thankfully Maxim and his companions are safe now. Gotcha. I think I have a rough understanding of the situation here. I have no intention of meddling in Heiyue's internal affairs. However, I must see to the safety of this civilian. The Guild will not stand idly by and allow you to detain this young man. <sighs> I see. With Beauty's Blade and Yin on your side, I dare say our advantage has dissolved. I believe we're still on even footing. So Mon crafted a worthy successor after all. Perhaps you will even surpass him given time. You flatter me. She's become stronger in the last year and a half. Father, I was aware of the tyrant's situation, but I'm shocked that the elders stooped to working with our enemies. The Council may be our leadership, but surely this was a step too far. That attitude is exactly why you are not informed. You still lack what it takes to serve as an elder of Hei Yue. I can't say I disagree, but that's why I've learned to rely on others to cover my shortcomings. Evidently so. The charisma we sought ended up being our undoing, I suppose. Gian. Very well. The older generation shall yield on this matter. I must face the Council and answer for the lives lost due to my actions. <laughs> but be warned, young ones. Our foe's offensive has only just begun. All that hard work and elders live to be old another day. Sure, we accomplished our real goal here, but I have a feeling the boss won't be too happy. A failure is a failure. The boss may respond as he sees fit. Hey, Melchior! Don't think I've forgotten this is all your fault for screwing up and Cray! <laughs> it is what it is. Though I did stumble on an ideal venue in the process. In the meantime, we must focus. The next battle is fast approaching. Ugh, don't remind me. I don't like having to work with those two. Be nice to your teammates, children. Even if they are a little cuckoo. It's rich for you of all people to be calling someone crazy. If either of them fought at full strength, they could dispatch an entire army single-handedly. Well, they'll have a chance to whip out those toys of theirs before too long. Perhaps we'll even run into that Spriggan again. It's almost like fate. After Mesodom Trading Company pulled out of Longport, everything started getting back to normal. Well, on the surface, anyway. The conflict between Heiyue and Almada is probably only going to intensify from here on. Especially since Yin's back. 
Why didn't anybody tell me that Yin is a woman? Wait, you don't think she and Tao are secretly... you know? Eh, doubt it. I hear she's got her eyes set on a guy in Crossbell. So she's an acquaintance of yours then? I got the impression Elaine knows her too. I'm not surprised about Van since he seems to know everybody. But I wouldn't think an assassin and an A-rank bracer would get along. Yin and I bumped into each other on a job two years back. As for Elaine, dunno. Guess they must have teamed up at some point. Shame I couldn't just sit back while they handled everything this time. Is there anybody you don't know? Huh. <laughs> you talk tough. But we all know. Sao included. You can't help but get involved. Can it already? <sighs> Though, I can't say I enjoy feeling like he had us dancing in the palm of his hand. I suspect this whole thing was probably just a changing of the guard over at Heiyue, so to speak. Fawn went to mourn the dead and visit their families. Even sent the bodies of the thugs back home. Well, those with enough of a body left to send. It's all made him pretty popular around here. No doubt thanks to Sao's schemes. He's already done so much over in Crossbell and Erebonia, and now he's masterminded all this too. People are starting to talk about him being a future elder. Gah, that freaking guy. I know. Isn't he dreamy? Oh, right. Did you make it back in time for school on Yes? <laughs> Not quite. <sighs> How many times did I warn you about missing the night train? <laughs> you sound like you're her dad or something. Not like it would have been easy to leave anyway. Between the guild, police, and navy, it was a real mess. Van ended up giving us a ride back in the early hours of the morning. So, at least I was still able to attend my afternoon classes. If I were you, I'd have called it a wash and taken the rest of the day off. That's our model student for you. Are you glad you got to see things through to the end? Yes, though I don't feel like I was able to contribute that much. Even so, I'm glad that I was there to provide what help I could. Huh. Are you a lucky boss or what? Can't imagine Elaine's all that pleased about it, though. Don't remind me. Already got an earful about it last night. It's clear from your story that there's more going on here than you're letting on. And while we managed to avoid the worst-case scenario, people lost their lives here. Considering that, it's becoming increasingly difficult to ignore your participation in all of this, Agnes. It doesn't have to be right this moment, but please consider having the Guild take over this case of yours, okay? So, you given her suggestion any thought? I think Elaine would do her best to solve my case. I can trust her. However, I've seen firsthand that some problems can only be solved by issuing conventions. I think there's still more to learn this way. So, I stand by my initial decision. If you say so. <laughs> Keep at it. What she said, you've got this! Will do. Now the only problem left is Aaron. He's more into older women, so I don't think he'll cause too much grief. But he's still a bad influence. You think so? Is he really that bad? Uh, hold on. What are we talking about right now? That salve had him knocked out cold by the time we left. He's not going to be up and around for a few weeks now, right? About that... Leave it to an old fart to think like an old fart. Welcome to Edith! Did you find the place alright? It was my first time taking the subway, but it was actually pretty easy. Damn if this city isn't hella big! Wow, you made good time! I was surprised you made up your mind so quickly. Once I did my morning with Fawn and said my goodbyes, that's all there was to do. Oh, by the way, the folks downstairs are letting me rent a room here. What? Why are you even here? 
Thanks to your investigation, I don't have a place to belong anymore. But really, this is a chance to take a hard look at myself. So I told anyone who'd cared that I'd be skipping town for a while. And since I have nowhere else to be, you get the honor of hanging with me for a while. I'll crash here, work for you during the day, and see the sights of the capital at night. Oh, and count on me for whatever Almada and Genesis stuff you've got going on. I look forward to fighting alongside you again. We're pleased to have you. Ain't you all forgetting who's in charge here? Those scheming Heiwei bastards. Pick up your damn phones already! Careful, you're gonna sprout some gray hairs at this rate. I think it's time to fold, pal. I'm sure it'll be fine. Aaron, remember to be a courteous guest. All right? Yeah, yeah. Just take care of Longport while I'm away, will ya? Gotta keep this up. Rank up! Damn, that's pretty generous. <laughs> that's just about perfect. See? You get it. Aaron Way here. Treat me right, and maybe I'll give a senior citizen like you pointers on how to pick up chicks.